I says, hey, the clock is ticking. You got to keep moving. Ron Howard was the starting tight end on the Seahawks' first team ever. My man, all right. Now he's the one blowing the whistle. Anyone want to go to the library? Meet me up here. He leads his latest team of kids at Aki Kurosi Middle School in Seattle. We're being nice. Have a seat. How are you doing? Man? Mr. Howard, as he's known here, is the assistant principal. Nobody wants to be with me after school. He says that, but actually it seems like a lot of these kids want to hang with him as much as they can. Everybody treating you all right? Schedule good? All right. Have a good day. His position does require him to dole out discipline. They know who I am. But they also know nobody cares about them more than Mr. Howard. <laughs> There's times where that's my conversation with my kids here. You know, we're just not so much about football, but have an opportunity. The walls of his office are covered with photos of his first career. That's my rookie year at the Cowboys. There he is, number 87, and there he is in Super Bowl 10, getting ready for a kickoff. Right here, yeah. Kids have the rare chance to see and touch an NFC championship ring. He's from Pasco and played basketball at Seattle U. So when the Seahawks picked him up. Oh yeah, this was the year 76. He got to come home. After six seasons in the NFL, he went even higher. The Columbia Tower is 1,076 feet from the basement up. The reason why I know this is because I work from the basement up. Ron was an Adonis of an iron worker, assembling many of the buildings that became the Seattle skyline. Every day I went to work, you gotta respect death. You can't, you gotta respect it. That's not a macho thing up there. He passes on tales of dedication and determination he learned up high and on the field, but he always wanted to be a teacher, which has its own challenges. So this is the first year I've worked here where I actually I had to confiscate boxing gloves here. <laughs> if kids do find themselves in here, Mr. Howard doesn't call home. The students do the call it, and then they have to explain why they're in my office. And then I come in behind, and it works about 100%. <laughs> now in his third decade at the same school, there is no place he'd rather be. And it's not always about trouble in here, because the first thing is in here is about life. You guys have a good day. Thanks a lot, you guys. Bye-bye. What a guy. Ron says that he wanted to be a Seahawk because he used to work at Nordstrom in the shipping department. He loved the Nordstrom family, and the Nordstrom family loved him and said, we want you to be a Seahawk. He used to be in the Cowboys. Such a fascinating life that he is yeah. leading and making such a difference for those kids. That's awesome.